Hi everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to another day of an odd animal day. Today, as you can see, we are on to letter H, which stands not for hippo, but for human, because humans, of course, are animals as well. Humans are classified as mammals, and we share many characteristics with other animals. But we also have certain things about ourselves that are particularly unique, and this can all be revealed in our genetic makeup. So for today's purposes, I'm gonna show you one way to draw a human being. Maybe you decide to make this more of a self-portrait and change the hairstyle, or maybe the color of the eyes. So again, feel free to go off course, but I will show you how to get started here. So blank piece of paper and your drawing utensil. Short end of the paper facing us, we're gonna do a profile. So shoulders on down and we'll see the face up here on the upper half of the page. So when you're ready, we'll start with the eyes. I'm gonna do two dots and you can space them out however close or far apart you like. Again, something different that's um, unique about each person. I'm gonna take mine eh, maybe two, three inches or so apart here at the center top half of my page, two dots. And then I'm gonna do that familiar C shape facing the correct direction around there. And then the same thing around here in the opposite direction. For the nose, I'm gonna do a U shape right in the center of the nose, right in the center of the eyes here, excuse me. And then for the mouth, we'll do one curve. And then I'm gonna take another curve underneath that, just a little bit deeper to have uh, an open mouth smile here. And connect it at either corner. I'm gonna draw bangs on my human here. So I'm gonna start with a curved line right across the top here. This will be where it meets with the forehead. And then from there, I'm gonna finish the rest of the face. So it's gonna be a U shape starting at the corner of the bangs there, the hair, under the chin, and all the way up to the side here. So start here on the left, take it down under the mouth, and back up to the other side. Maybe you draw a wider face, fuller cheeks. Everybody's face is a slightly different shape. So this one is particularly a long face. And then I'm gonna add the ears. We'll do a curve right around here and it's right about in line with the eyes, maybe just a little bit lower. And then at the same level on the other side here. To finish the hair then, I'm gonna start about in the center here, just an inch or so from the top and I'm gonna draw a curve all the way down, almost in line with the chin. Maybe you make your hair longer. So from the top here, and we'll curve that down. Same thing on the other side. And then to finish, I'm gonna do a curve that comes from the edge of the hair there and in towards the chin. And then the same on this side. And then for the neck, we'll just do two parallel lines from either side of the face. We'll draw a collar, so a curved line connecting either side of the neck. And then for shoulders, I'm gonna do a curve that starts at the edge of the neck here and take that down towards the bottom edge of my page. This is where you can get creative. Maybe you come back later and you color in the shirt to be a particular color, or maybe it's a pattern. And then the last thing I like to do is add a little bit of texture to the hair. So I'm just gonna draw some curved lines coming out to finish the bangs here. Maybe some of them come over the face. Can take some longer down the side, maybe up on the right and the left, and we'll take it all the way back up to the top. So there's one example of what you can draw for letter H. Again, maybe you make this a self-portrait of yourself or somebody you love, and come back tomorrow, we'll be on to our next letter.